Imagine a world where you're not just a passive participant in your dreams, but an active architect shaping the narrative. That's the essence of lucid dreaming, a state where you become conscious beyond the dream, staring it in a direction limited only by your imagination. Now, let's dive into the three main benefits of lucid dreaming. Overcome nightmares. It's normal to have a nightmare sometimes. However, recurring nightmares can cause anxiety and stress. These nightmares are often associated with depression or post-traumatic stress disorder. Gaining control within your dreams allows you to reshape the narrative, turning night terrors into empowering experiences, relieve anxiety. By facing anxious situations in a controlled dream environment, some claim to find solace and even develop strategies to cope with their fears in reality. Improved motor skills. Lucid dreaming, often considered a mental sanctuary, takes an unexpected turn into the realm of physical rehabilitation. This means the people with physical disabilities could practice motor skills while dreaming. Additionally, people without any physical disabilities could also use lucid dreaming to improve motor skills as well. But how can you experience lucid dreaming? You should do two things. Remember your dreams. The simplest method to achieve this is by telling yourself before falling asleep, I want to remember my dreams. I will remember my dreams. It may seem too easy, but it really works. If you don't believe it, give it a try and share in comment how it worked out for you. Reality testing. Now that you can remember your dreams, the next step is realizing that you are in a dream. Reality testing involves questioning your surroundings throughout the day, so you will do it automatically in your dreams, so you can have a chance to lucid dreaming. Ask yourself, am I dreaming? And perform simple reality checks. There are some examples. Testing objects. Trying to push your hand through the solid object. If you can do that, you can realize it is a dream. Clock test. If you are dreaming, the time on a clock will change constantly. But if you are awake, the time will barely change. Breathing test. Pinch your nose and see if you can breathe. If you can still breathe, you are dreaming. This practice enhances metacognition, increasing the likelihood of realizing when you are in a dream. So the next time you're caught in a dream, you might just recognize the signs and step into the realm of lucidity. If you want to lucid dreaming, good to know what if you want to wake yourself up. Tip 1. Call for help. You can try calling out for help loudly while you're dreaming and your brain will wake up. Tip 2. Blink. Blinking rapidly in your dream can also help to return to reality. Tip 3. Fall asleep. When you try to fall asleep within your dream, it can wake you up. These techniques help you to return to the waking world. Be careful. Lucid dreaming, while an incredible experience, may occasionally lead to sleep paralysis, a temporary but unsettling state. It's essential to approach these practices with caution, especially if you have pre-existing sleep disorders. If you have any experiences related to lucid dreaming that you would like to share with me, please write them in comments.